morning, distinguished guests, parents, family, friends, and the class of 2020. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to Yorba Linda Middle School's eighth grade promotion ceremony. My name is Greg Kemp, the principal of Yorba Linda Middle School. To begin, I would like to recognize our Placentia Yorba Linda School Board and Director of Middle School, Keith Carmona, for their continuous support of YLMS. I would also like to recognize our Assistant Principal, David Watts, and our Counselor, Sally Weirich. Lastly, I'd like to recognize our faculty and staff for the amazing work they have done during these unprecedented times. At this time, I would like to open with a recording of the National Anthem by our choir, led by Mr. McCann. This performance was recorded prior to the closing of school. The background of this recording is that our choir was preparing to sing at the Richard Nixon Presidential Library, but the event was canceled hours before they were to depart. They recorded the National Anthem instead and sent it to the Nixon Library for their event. It was well received by the Nixon Library, and I hope you will enjoy our choir singing the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallant Students, today we celebrate a significant day in our educational journey. Three years ago, you came to your Belinda Middle School from various elementary schools. There were unknown challenges you were to face during that transition from elementary school to middle school. During the past three years, you have grown academically, socially, physically, and emotionally on your journey towards a successful future. This growth you have experienced will help you meet the many demands you will face in high school. I'm confident that you will be well prepared to move forward as you attend a great, have attended a great school with high academic standards, caring teachers, and where parents place a high value on the importance of education. Today's promotion is unlike any other we have done in the past. During these uncertain times, I remind us to take time to focus on the positive that have come from this pandemic versus the negative. I realize there is a disappointment of not being with your classmates in person, but we have found many new ways to communicate and stay in touch while we are apart. Bobcats, just a few weeks ago, a friend from mine from middle school posted my entire yearbook from eighth grade on Facebook. It brought back many amazing memories, including the trends of the time. It had me thinking about how you will remember your time at YLMS. Without a doubt, you will not forget distance learning and Zoom. With the change in instruction, new trends started, some positive and some not so positive. Birthday parades and Zoom bombings are the two that come to mind. TikTok, TikTok dances, visiting Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, pieing teachers, winning the football game, vans and hoodies are all the norms that you would see on campus. You may not remember the individual lessons of your classes, but you will remember many of your teachers and the impact they had on your life. Many of you will be going your separate ways as you head off to various high schools. I faced the same thing when I was in middle school, but you'll have one huge advantage, which is social media, personal phones, and technology to keep us connected. Stay in contact with one another, even if you're at different schools and remember the common denominator of YLMS and the memories you have created while you're here. YLMS is a special place that has been built by students like yourselves, don't forget your roots as you move forward towards a successful future. Thank you, Class of 2020, for making this year at YLMS memorable. I know what you have learned while here at YLMS will carry you on your journey to high school and beyond. I'd like to welcome the first speaker of the day, Carissa Dent. Hello, students, parents, friends, YLMS staff, and all of our amazing guests. 
I'd first like to introduce myself by saying my name is Carissa Din and I'm a proud Bobcat of Yarbo Linda Middle School. As a YLMS 8th grader, I'd like to thank you all for being here to recognize all of our amazing soon-to-be freshmen. This year has been quite a journey for us 8th graders and it's sad that it's coming to an end. Although this last year is not what we had planned nor expected, I know that today is a day of celebration for our YLMS 8th graders and our journey to high school. It's not every day that you graduate from being an eighth grader to a freshman in high school. So one last time, thank you all for being here and enjoy the promotion. Go Bobcats! Thank you, Carissa. Now please welcome Caitlin Lewis to present her reflection speech. August 29th, 2017, my first day of sixth grade. I walked through the gates of Yorvalda Middle School with my heart beating out of my chest. I watched closely as the 7th and 8th graders were hugging their friends and looking around for the new classrooms. I walked into the 6th grade quad seeing all the other 6th graders taking in the huge campus where we would all spend our next three years. I remember being beyond excited to be an 8th grader one day. Getting to walk around knowing you're the oldest class on campus always felt like a dream to me. In 6th grade, we were all just trying to understand how our next years would go. Our biggest worry was getting to class on time and making sure all our teachers liked us. Most of us were strangers to each other on August 29, 2017. I don't think that any of us thought that by 2020, we would all be closer than we ever thought. In our sixth grade minds, eighth grade seemed so far away, but we all couldn't wait. Middle school really was a roller coaster, lots of twists and turns, accomplishments and failures, but through all that, we had each other. I don't really think that any of us thought how hard it would be to say goodbye to all our teachers that helped us shape who we are and who we want to be. Seventh grade was an awkward phase for most of us. We were figuring out the people we wanted to be seen as and jumping out of our seats at the thought of being an eighth grader next year. We had all found our friend groups and found our way around campus. Seventh grade went by in a flash with all the dances and dress-up days. Each day of school was a new story waiting to be written and every story was award-winning. Eighth grade was spent preparing for high school and just having fun in our last year of middle school. We had all finally got to be the big kids on campus, which is what we had all been waiting for since the moment we stepped foot into Yarborough in Middle School. Even though we got what we, had all, we all were waiting for, we weren't ready for the realization that this is our last year here before we would have to leave. Some were excited to finally go to high school and others weren't ready to be separated from their closest friends. Throughout all the feelings we were feeling, we knew that we were all in this together. We may have not been able to have the last few months of our eighth grade year, but Yorba in the middle school getting enough memories for a lifetime. Going to Yorba in the middle school was definitely an adventure, but it was an adventure I'm glad I went on. There is no way that any of us thought we would have gotten through middle school without the support of each other and our teachers. Going into middle school, we all felt like we were alone, but coming out of it, we all knew we were all in this together. All of the early morning classes and all the miles we had to run were all worth it, because it all gave me memories I will remember every day for the rest of my life. I'm happy to say that stepping onto the campus of YLMS on August 29, 2017, gave me the best friends I could ask for and the best teachers I will ever have. These last three years may have been a wild ride, but definitely a ride worth taking. Thank you, Caitlin. Now welcome Raya Vitella to present her New Horizons speech. Hello everyone, I'm Raya Vitella. So we've all been through the first day of school when it's super awkward and no one knows each other. Then you start interacting with someone and as soon as you know it, they become one of the most impactful people in our lives, known as our friends. And then our teachers, they're the ones who taught us everything we needed to know about their subject and without their knowledge, we would not be where we are today. But if we really look back, it was our parents who were the ones who taught us how to socialize and attract the right people in our lives, and we've made the most amazing friendships today because of them. People have constantly walked in and out of our lives, but it is the ones who were there through the thick and thin whom we will always remember. Through these three awkward stages of middle school, sixth, seventh, and now eighth grade, we've learned so much from our peers, our teachers, as well as our parents and even our siblings. From trying to raise our grades to drama to dealing with friends coming and going. It's like a crazy roller coaster that you're on and it doesn't stop for anyone. But that's life. What is important is that we've taken what we've learned throughout the years and use it to shape the person we want to become in the future. Looking forward, I think we can all agree that high school seems different. For some, it may even seem scary. And for others, it may just seem like the impossible. But the truth is, we don't know what our future has in store for us, and it's very scary to think that. All we can do is keep our heads up, back straight, and keep at it. 
I mean, it's quite absurd to think that in middle school, we were discovering ourselves as individuals. And now in high school, it will be preparing us to use the tools we've learned and put them together to lift up others as well as ourselves. The world will now be in our hands. It's quite crazy how these stages of life really do fly by, yet in the moment, it feels as though it will never end. As I look back, I remember Mr. Del Longo's assignment, me at 23. It will be interesting to see who you will allow to stand by you 10 years from now. What kind of person do you want to become? I look forward to this crazy, fun, exhausting new journey called high school, and I hope you do too. I know that middle school has taught me the self-discipline to do this speech. It has also taught me to outwork those around you. And most importantly, we are our own motivation. So the best I can do is to strive to become the greatest version of myself because that is the only thing that matters. At times, some of the closest people in your lives may turn against you. But always remember, the best revenge is to defeat them with success. This crazy ride we're on called life, there's gonna be some times where you feel like dropping to the ground. But if you can look up, you can get up. If I can give you one piece of advice, one that would stick with you forever, it would be that strength is the product of struggle. You must do what others don't to achieve what others won't. Congratulations, you have survived the three most awkward years of your life, middle school. Thank you and be well. Thank you, Raya. I would like to now introduce the director of middle school, Mr. Keith Carmona, to welcome you to high school. Congratulations, promoting eighth grade Yorbalina Middle School students. My name is Keith Carmona, and I am a director in the Educational Services Office for our school district. I would like to be the first one to welcome you to high school. Today marks the end of one journey, but the beginning of another. In just a few short months, you will become Esperanza Aztecs, Yorba Linda Mustangs, El Dorado Golden Hawks, and Valencia Tigers. While the memories that you have made in middle school will always be with you, and the experience that, experiences that you have had have molded you into the young adults that you are promoting today, your four years in high school will be unlike any other in your life. High school is a remarkable time, one that you should be very excited to be embark embarking upon. As you move up into ninth grade, my advice to you would be to get involved. Certainly you will have much to learn in your academic classes, but the real joys of high school come in the huge variety of extracurricular activities you'll be able to participate in. From athletics to the arts, to clubs and competitions, there is something on every one of our high school campuses for each of you. As you promote today, each of you has a passion within you, something that brings you joy and wonder. Please be sure to utilize all of the wonderful programs at our high schools to allow that passion to take on new life. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the peculiar nature of this promotion ceremony. While it is disappointing for us all not to be gathered together to celebrate your accomplishments, please know that though you did not have a traditional end to your middle school experience, you are richer in several ways. The work that you have done in the past several months learning in quarantine have built positive traits within you that will guide you in your future. As a result of what you, the class of 2020, has experienced, you are now more adaptable, more resilient, and you have a greater appreciation for one another. I know that these characteristics, which have been reinforced in the last few months, will enable you to flourish as you head into high school. And four years from now, as you don a cap and gown and attend a much more traditional graduation ceremony, you'll know that the strengths you gained helped you along the way. Eighth graders, you are now Aztecs, Golden Hawks, Tigers, and Mustangs. On behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Greg Plutko, and our entire Board of Education, I officially welcome you to high school. Congratulations to you, the high school graduating class of 2024. Now is the time you've been waiting for the presentation and honoring of our eighth grade students. A slideshow with each promoting eighth grader student will be displayed before my closing.
And now, by the authority given to me by the Board of Trustees and the Superintendent of Placentia Yorba Linda Unified School District, I certify that these students have successfully completed their required course of study and they are hereby promoted to the ninth grade. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and honor to present to you the Yorba Linda Middle School Class of 2020 and the High School Graduating Class of 2024.